Hello there guys, it's Joel here aka Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel today for a new ASOS haul. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications so that you know when I bring out a new video. You can find my daily outfits over on Instagram as well and you can follow me on Twitter at Galax. Now I've ordered about 10 things from ASOS, I don't know what they're gonna be like. I just saw them and thought they were nice. I really, really wanna see what this stuff is like. I wanna see what the quality is like. I wanna see what the fit is like. So let's unbox everything and try it on as we go along. And it'd be great if you could let me know in the comments which you think is a nice piece, which you think I should return. What are your thoughts on this little haul? Just a reminder as well, everything mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description box down below. So if you did want to check any of these pieces out or purchase any, the links are in the description box. Okay, so let's go ahead and open the bags. Okay, so a few of these things are actually from the women's section, like a few jackets and stuff. Um, I've ordered them in really big sizes, so hopefully they fit. And this is the first thing. This is a cropped Nike Borg fleece. Now, I'm a huge fan of Borg outerwear. I think it's really cute. Not very good in the rain or the snow. I did wear my ASOS Borg puffer jacket in the snow a few weeks ago, and yeah, snow and Borg do not mix very well. Obviously, if it's a cold dry day then it's perfect it's got what i thought was really cute the little details was the little nike zipper pull there and it's got a embroidered tick on the back as well and it's got a bit of embroidery above the pocket right here it is women's and it is cropped so i got it in an xl and it looks like it will be a good size um let's try it on and see what i think okay so this is the women's xl so i assume that this will fit me okay Police scenario. Me buying something cropped and then being shocked when it's cropped. That's the kind of, that's the kind of vibe. It's not bad, you know, it is a cute shape. I just don't think I'm in love with it as I was when I saw it online. Also, the cuffs on the sleeves are like super wide and that white lining is pretty gross. Why couldn't they have used black lining? Because that just looks weird. It makes it look a lot cheaper. Um, and for something that was nearly a hundred pounds, to have this horrible white lining is so weird. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nike, but you've kind of missed the mark on this. I can imagine a lot of people looking really good in this, but for 95 pounds, I just don't think it's worth it. That is a little bit expensive for a Nike, like, fleecy jacket, in my opinion. Okay, the next piece I got the biggest size that I could in, which was a medium, but again, it is women's, but it did say it was oversized, but now looking at it, I feel like it's definitely too small. Oh, it's so soft. It's another Nike piece, um, or Nike, however you want to say it. I'm sure you'll shout at me in the comments. Um, but it is a faux fur jacket. And it actually doesn't look too small, but I think it probably will be too small. But it's got the Nike tick there, the Nike swoosh. Um, and it's faux fur, and it's so soft. It's kind of similar to the other one, but obviously this one is a bit more luxurious looking and this one is even more expensive this one was 130 and yeah the biggest size they had was a medium if they had an xl it probably would have been a lot better for me um but let's try it on and see what we think yeah this like just about fits but this is not this is not the kind of look that i'm going for i mean it does fit the sleeves are too short but it fits my body so the XL or the XXL would have been perfect for me. It's honestly such a nice material. If you fit a woman's medium, whoever you are, this will be going back to ASOS, so you can purchase it if you want. It's a really, really, it's a really cool night piece to have on ASOS because you don't normally see like stuff like this. This reminds me of like the ambush design night thing. But you know what's really annoying? I feel like this doesn't line up that well. Do you see here, like this, the swoosh is lower than the upper part of the swoosh, which is very, very frustrating. If I've spent 130 quid on a Nike swoosh fleece, I at least want the swoosh to line up. Like, that's a really bad... That's so bad, actually. Like, looking at it from here, it's like... The fuck? Moving on to bag number two. Okay, I saw this and I was actually obsessed, um, but I think it could come across looking like a lab coat. It's the ASOS Design Shacket in white. Um, so like shirt, jacket, shacket. And I got it in a UK 18 just because I don't really know what size I am in women's sizes and I didn't want it to be too small. Oh, that's really big. It's kind of cool though, but it is like super, super white. 
Okay, let's try this on. Let's give it a go. From the moment I put this on, I knew it looked like a lab coat and I just can't see it any other way from now on. I don't know who could wear this and for it not to look like a lab coat because it just looks... This always happens. I always buy oversized white things from ASOS and they end up looking like fucking chemists. So just guys, stop me before I buy anything like this again because I don't want to look... There's nothing wrong with working in a pharmacy. I just, that's not my... Aesthetic. Next up we have this cute set, um, this cohort. It's like wide leg joggers and then um, an oversized sweatshirt. It says it's grey but it's definitely green. But the sweatshirt in a medium and the joggers in a medium as well. So the sweatshirt like this with a big pocket on it. I don't love the pocket but I didn't hate it enough for it to put me off and plus the styling that they've used online made this look really appealing so I just really wanted to try it and see what I thought. And also I don't really have any wide leg joggers in that sense so you can see at the bottom it's just like completely not cuffed at all. Um, so that should be interesting, but I'd like to see them together. So let's give it a go and see what that looks like. A medium pair of joggers is ridiculously large. Like, yes, they have a waistband with elastic, but I don't expect them to be like, I can fit another person in here. So here we have the full set, and when the sweatshirt is covering how big the joggers are, that's fine. But I probably could have gone a small or an extra small in the joggers. Honestly, that waistband is so ridiculous. I do like how like loose and flared they are at the bottom, but I'm not like the biggest fan. I think the online product shots made this set look a lot better than it actually is. The jumper is £25 and the trousers are £30. So next up, really random, I don't, well I do have a pair of, I have sandals obviously, but I don't really have a pair of sandals like this. Smell very fresh. They reminded me of the like sweet coke, I think that's how you say it, um like tech sandals, kind of like the Dior ones that we've seen on the, on the past few runway shows from Dior Men's, um, but these have a chunky sole, so that obviously, I love a chunky sole, so it just really attracted me to these. They're only £25 as well, and I got them in a UK9, so let's try them on. I imagine wearing these with socks, for sure, so if you don't like socks and sandals, then just skip across. Okay, these are actually so cute. They're really funny. Um, it's funny because the sole like comes up and with a lip here that you can like tuck your toes into. They do feel super, super comfortable. I think these are a good shout for like summer or holiday. Um, if you're going on vacation then and you want monster feet with buckles on them, I think they're kind of cool. Yeah. I think these are a good shout if you were looking for a sock and sandal. This may trigger a lot of people, so... Hello! This last bag is so puffed up, I can't remember what I ordered. Also, if anyone wondering, um, for my last video I reviewed the TikTok front row fashion challenge and so many people were saying that I should now do it, so I've done it over on my Instagram if you want to go check. Well, I did it on my TikTok as well, but I don't really go on my TikTok that much. Um, but yeah, so if you want to see what my version was, then you can go check that out. Let me know how I did. <laughs> In instantly taking these out of the bag, I'm super put off, only because um, online I couldn't really tell, but they're a pair of jeans from Collusion, but the stitching, like the, the thread, the colour stitching they've used is like a gold kind of stitching and I really, really don't like that. I knew that they're like a washed kind of faded denim, but I didn't know that the stitching would be that kind of orange. Um, the shape looks cool, but yeah, I'm not a fan of that stitching, but I'll try them on anyway. Okay, so the Collusion jeans are very tight. I know I'm wearing a thick top, but I literally buy 32, 32 all the time and they fit fine usually, but I've had to pull these right up to my waist. I don't know if it's because of quarantine, but I have bought other trousers and they have been fine. So I would say size up in these if you like the look of them. They're not bad. Like I said, I just hate the um, like gold orange stitching that they've used throughout. I don't really enjoy that. I prefer just plain black or even white stitching. But yeah, they are super, super tight. So if you're, if you're a 32, I would get a 34 or if they do in between sizes. Sometimes brands do like 33 and stuff, I'm not really sure. Um, but the shape overall is nice. So if you were looking for a pair of jeans like this. This is the black version of the white lab coat that I tried on previously. I also got this in an 18. You know, all my clothes are black, so it's always a safe option, but it just looked like a really cool jacket kind of style 
jacket. I'm gonna give it a go. This one was £40 as well, I assume. Yeah, this one was £40 as well. So let's see if I prefer the black over the white. Um, okay, I wasn't expecting to like this so much, but it's so big and it's so comfy. And this will go over the top of anything. Like, even if you were wearing like a thick kind of hoodie, this would go over the top. I don't know if I like the length though. It is quite long. Like maybe if it was a bit shorter. But for £40 for like a nylon jacket, it's quite a cool option. Maybe I could have sized down to like a size 16. This has been on my saved items since like last year and I got it in an XL. It was actually in the sale for like 30 quid. It's an oversized jacket again. It kind of looks like the nylon one I just showed you but this is more of a, like a wool material and this is actually from the men's section. And it just looked really cool in their product images but now feeling it, it's a bit more limp. And I don't know if I love that. But um, when I saw that it was wool, I was a bit like apprehensive because I was like, mm, probably going to be itchy. But it actually feels super, super soft for it. I think it's like a wool mix. Um, so let's try it on and see. Okay, so here we have the wool jacket in an XL. It's crazy to me that this is an XL because this kind of just fits me perfectly. The shape is nice and I do like that it's a bit cropped in the body. I do like how structured the shoulder bit comes across, but it does feel like the sleeves are like sewn too far down the body, I'm not really sure. In the styling they showed this with a hoodie which looked quite cool, but I'm not sure if it's my favourite, you know? I swear everything I've bought looks the same. And finally this is another women's jacket. It's £45 and it's padded and it's cropped. Um, it's called the Chuck On jacket and I assume it's because you just can chuck it on. Um, I think that's a very British phrase when referring to clothes. That'll just chuck it on. Do you know what I mean? So, but it looked really cool. Um, so I wanted to try it. Again, I got this in an 18 because yeah, I'm not really sure on women's sizing, but it's got two big pockets at the front. It has this like high funnel neck. It has like this placket to protect the zip, um, which is down there. Oh, it's got poppers down it as well, which is cool. Um, so yeah, I just thought it looked like a nice simple piece so let's try it on. Okay so this is the chuck on jacket and I don't think it's as cropped as I thought it would be but I really do like the shape and you can make it tighter at the bottom. It obviously is a bit plain but sometimes you just need that kind of jacket that is a bit plain. The more and more I look at it the shape is really freaking nice. You know for a £45 jacket from ASOS if you want something that's really clean and minimal I think this is a really good shout in that sense because I think it's quite cool. The details on it are quite nice as well and the padding is like, it's not crazy thick, but it's like thick enough if you know what I mean. Surprise, surprise, a lot of black and white clothing, a hint of green in there as well because green is the only color I wear apparently. Um, don't forget everything is linked in the description box below. Let me know what your favorite piece was or if you're planning on picking up any of these pieces. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.